So you don't want to stick your finger in there, okay? I know that's what she said. We got Ant-Man from YouTube here. Hello YouTube, Ant-Man Moto here, and I'm in my garage. I meant to be filming all of this, but what I've done is I have taken the dog bone off of the Tuono Factory Summit Attack, and it's a 2019, so this is not an old or weathered bike yet. It's pretty new still, but my buddy Ken had some damage happen to this and actually more so to these that he replaced on uh, his Tuono. And what was happening was it was binding. These actual little linkages and bushings in here were kind of binding and causing excessive wear on the inside of these. You can see this one's rubbing a little bit. So what I'm going to do to alleviate that is I'm going to install these. And I got them from AP Workshops. Uh, they are out of the UK. They have a great YouTube channel. A lot of different tricks and mods and things you can do with your Tuono. That washer is going to actually sit right here. And then the linkage is gonna go back together like that so that there's no metal to metal contact, but more a washer, Teflon to metal contact. You pull the bushing out of the dog bone very gently and inside there, as you can see, there are needle bearings. And all I'm going to do is just put some Bell Ray waterproof grease, which is this here, this Bell Ray waterproof grease. And I'm just going to kind of repack that. I'm not going to disturb those needle bearings at all. I'm not going to pull them out and do anything. I'm just going to put a little bit more grease in there, clean off the bushing and slide it back in place. And then I'm just going to reassemble everything with those washers. Okay, and as you can see, dog bone has been cleaned up very nicely. I just kind of cleaned off the edges. A little bit of abrasion down here on this bottom, but it's nothing to worry about. My buddy Ken, his was really torn up. So it's real important that you service this thing if you haven't in a while, especially if you live in a rainy climate or like if you live in the UK or somewhere where there's a lot of uh, salt and a lot of water in the atmosphere and on the ground, uh, you got to service these things pretty regular. Me, I'm going to probably start doing mine like every other riding year just to make sure it's clean and, you know, fresh grease in there and nothing's binding up. Careful not to disturb those. And what's going to happen is when you put the bushing back through, it's going to push this grease through the assembly. Okay, just a little bit on the mouth, like that. I'm not going to stick my finger in there and try to coat those pit needles because, I mean, they could easily stick to your finger and come out. You don't want to stick your finger in there, okay? I know that's what she said, okay? If you can avoid it, because you will 
quite possibly screw your bearings up and then you're gonna have to one by one painstakingly get each one of these little suckers back in its back in its place. Would you want to try to do that? I don't even know if you can see. Nothing you want to do if you don't have to. Alright, that's that's nice and clean now. Never really done a video like this before, so pray for me, Lord. Now you just take it, line it up, and push it through very gently. Turning, twisting as you go. And you see on the other side, you should have that. And what that means is that grease has been pushed across the entire bearing surface. All right, that's what you want. Okay. Same thing with this. Nice and clean. Take it. Insert it. Twisting. Gently. And it will come out the other side, out the bearing. I mean, excuse me, the seal. And that's it. I'm satisfied with that. And I take my seals. I've already wiped them down, but I'm going to just put a little bead, a little bead of grease on them. Make sure they're clean. Just push your your pushing in a little bit, and you can just without force. You don't want to force anything. You just want it to kind of slide into place gently. Boom. See that? It does not sit flush inside of there. It sticks out just a hair. So don't try to get it, don't try to force it to where it's flush with the dog bone. That's not necessary. You just want to make sure it's in there even. You know, gentle pressure on both sides at the same time so it's not cockeyed in there. And that's it. Okay, and she's ready for service. I'm going to wipe her down and reinstall her. And she's going to be ready for service. Before. After. Right inside there, we're going to do the same process with the bushing. Um, and sticking a little grease in there. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. It's very dark in my garage. I apologize. All right, you see that? It's just an idea. You see that there? And that's what it's going to look like when it's all put back together. Those spooky washers are now in place between the swing arm and the actual little bracket there. And there won't be any rubbing of metal as that thing floats back and forth, uh, it prevents that metal to metal contact and prevents binding. As long as you uh, grease it up real good in there, you should have many, many, many miles and years of trouble-free suspension with uh, this modification. So, and you know, you can always, depending on your climate, will depend on how often you need to check your your bearings in there but i'm in a pretty dry area i don't really ride much in water so i'm probably not gonna have to check mine but once every couple of years I brought my daughter's little selfie light which i should have had this whole time i am terribly sorry about that folks my lighting was terrible but now my lighting's great and as you can see that's the finished product right there <sighs> We got it good and lit up yeah, and the finished product is looks very nice <clears throat> the little white nylon bushings are in there now it's been cleaned and greased all I have to do is torque it down but as you can see the lock nuts over here on this side 
are protruding through enough to where they will be able to lock. You know, the, the, the idea behind these lock nuts, and this is very rudimentary stuff, but as long as the center part here comes past the end of the lock nut, the lock nut is doing its job. If you put this lock nut on and it does not allow the end of the bolt to come through or if it's flush or if it's receded in there even a little bit, then that lock nut may not work and will actually back off and loosen They also have a YouTube channel. Their YouTube channel is AP Workshops. So uh, highly recommend them. They do a lot of cool stuff with uh, Aprilias, especially Tuonos and RSVs. And uh, they really did put my mind at ease when it comes to this rear suspension. There she is in all of her glory. A bike I never thought I would have, but here she is. I have put my AP Workshops spooky tef or nylon bushings there in the suspension linkage. I cleaned it. I cleaned everything out, re-lubed it, and put the washers on there and then torqued it back. The torque on those, by the way, is 50 Newton meters. Uh, I got that from the shop manual that my buddy Ken gave me for a Christmas present. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate you, buddy. Can't wait to do our first track day this year. It's going to be magnificent. Oh, crap. Did I just run in front of an ambulance? I did. Ambulance. 